Hello everyone, my name is Manu Parimi and I'm an Applications Engineer at Plexim. I'd like to welcome you to this basic tutorial video on setting up a Plex RT box. Here's an outline of the topics that we'll cover in this video. Before we begin, please make sure you have installed the latest version of either Plex standalone or Plex block set. If you haven't installed Plex, please visit our website for support. Keep in mind that you need licenses to both Plex and Plex coder to work with the RT box. First, go to www.plexim.com using a web browser of your choice. Once you're there, hover your mouse over the download button and select RTBox software from the drop down menu. Click on the appropriate zip archive and wait for the file to download. In this video, I have downloaded the zip archive to my desktop. Let's install the RTBox support package for Plex first. Create a new folder at a location of your choice and rename it as Coder Targets. In this case, I have created it on my desktop. Extract the archive that you have downloaded and move the Plex RTBox directory to the newly created Coder Targets folder. Now open Plex, then click on Plex Preferences under the File menu. Here you should see the Coder tab if you have installed the Plex license with Plex Coder. Choose the Coder Targets folder that you've created under the Target Support Packages path. You should see the RT box under Installed Targets. If you don't see the Target Support Package show up at this point, please make sure that you've pointed Plex to the parent directory of the folder named Plex RT box. Click Apply to apply the changes and OK to close the window. You should now see the RTBox library added to your library browser. The RTBox uses the Zero Configuration Networking Protocol or ZeroConf to facilitate network communication without the aid of additional network servers. On Mac OS, ZeroConf is integrated into the operating system. On Windows, ZeroConf is available through Apple's Bonjour drivers, which may already be installed on your computer. Alternatively, go to the Plex RTBox directory that you've downloaded into the bin and then win folders and install the appropriate MDNS installer package. Next, we configure the RTBox. The RTBox can be configured using a dynamic IP address, a self-assigned IP address, or a static IP address. For additional information on network configuration, refer to the RTBox manual. In the case of a dynamic IP address, use an Ethernet cable to connect the RT box to your local network. The RT box then receives a dynamic IP address from an external DHCP server. In the case of a self assigned IP address, connect the RT box directly to the host computer through an Ethernet port or an Ethernet adapter. Both the RT box and the PC use automatically assigned IP addresses. In this case, I'm making a point-to-point -point connection between my RT box and my host computer through a USB to Ethernet adapter. Next, make sure the RT box is powered off. Remove the SD card from the slot on the back of the box by pushing it in. Put the card into an SD card reader connected to your PC. The firmware for the RT box is in the folder labeled firmware within the RT box target support package files. Copy the files located in this folder and place them on the root directory of the SD card. Eject the SD card from your PC and place it back into the RT box. Power on the RT box by flicking the power switch on the rear panel. The green power LED on the front panel will turn on. When the RT box has acquired a dynamic IP address from a DHCP server on the network, it will turn on the green ready LED to indicate that it is ready to communicate. 
the ready LED will not turn on if you have connected the box directly with your host computer so that it uses a self-assigned IP address. In this case, since I have made a point-to-point -point connection, the ready LED does not turn on. To test the network connection, open a new Plex model, then open the coder options window. Select Plex RT box as the target and search for your RT box. Click on your RT box from the available RT boxes and click select. These numbers here correspond to the MAC address of the RT box, which you can find on a sticker below the SD card slot on the rear panel of your box. Click on the blue monitor icon to open the web interface. Alternatively, you can copy the hostname of your RT box from the target device tab, open any web browser of your choice on the host computer and paste the hostname into the address bar. Delete the dot at the end and replace it with a forward slash. If you have established a successful connection with your RT box, you should see the RT box web interface. You can even verify that you are able to send and receive packets under Ethernet statistics. The info tab displays the hostname, MAC address, serial number, and the firmware version that you've installed. In this case, it's 1.6.6. .6. If you're having trouble connecting to the RT box by using a self-assigned or dynamic IP address, you can configure the RT box using a static IP address. Follow the link in the description below for an instructional video on setting up a static IP address. This concludes the basic tutorial video on setting up a Plex RT box. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thank you for watching.